Raging Bold from Triple Forces went from $50 to $100 in a week. So it looks like we are witnessing another Triple Forces buyout. So as you can imagine, today is going to be basically a market update video. Again, apologize if I don't provide as much value as I usually do here on the channel. Forgive me, but it, it is a very busy period. I'm uh, studying for my last exam before I can graduate. So I'm really, really focusing on that. I don't have as much time to dedicate on video. So again, it's going to be a market day. We're going to, as usually, take a look at what's happening in the American market, European market, see why Region Ball has been buy out. And then we'll also take a look at supply using the bot that is available for free in the Discord that tracks down supply in the European market. So simply, in simply terms, from what I understood, Region Ball is played. People realized eventually that, uh, you know, Tem Temporal Force especially and Twilight Masquerade, there are sets that now that they were deep into Scarlet and Violet, they were suited for the new game dynamic in the TCG. So simply, apparently, Raging Ball EX is played with Dragapulta EX. They have a, a deck and it seems to be very powerful. It won originally a tournament and uh, that is the reason why Raging Ball has been bought out. However, one thing that's interesting and is also, I mean, it makes sense logically and we're going to explore why in just a second is if we take a look at the European market this is your Region Ball DX car market so European market all the English listings you have a, a ton 30 of them in the 50s still whereas in the American market they're do it 2x so they're double the price now it makes sense to me because if we take a look at double rare Region Bolt in the European Union it is selling for a euros basically and if we take a look at the same card in the american market price is basically the same so it is selling the double rare so the lowest strategy of this card which is played is selling for the same price in the us and the european union which makes sense but as we notice there's a big discrepancy in price 100 percent between the sir now my thinking is this is a playable card if you're going to play it, you're not going to play the SIR. And if the SIR is $100 and I saw the deck, I think it, it had four Raging Balls EX. So you're not going to, sp I mean, I'm sure there are people who are going to spend $400, but I don't see as much of, let's say, a utility in buying a car that is $100 by 4X, four copies, and then actually playing in, in your deck. Now, it basically what I think we're seeing is rationality in the European market and it's always been like that not because Americans are rational I'm not saying that I'm saying that obviously the US market is more notorious for buyouts we've seen that it happens many times actually many times what happens is there's a buyout in the US and it happened with Iron Crown actually when Iron Crown got bought out as soon as the set release went from in the 50s to the 90s I don't have historical data for prices in the U European Union but I can assure you they stayed at 50 55 for a couple of days and then after the bought out in a matter of a week they were up to in the 70s they weren't as high as the American markets so of 90s 95 but they did move higher now Reggie Ball effect happened uh, about uh, two days ago if I'm not mistaken so and still as you can see nothing has changed in the european market let's see if it's going to happen but again being rational if i want to buy a car that is played i'm either going to get the double rare that is eight nine dollars euros whatever it's the same price in both markets or let's say i want to get the hyper rare version which is also pretty cheap or the ultra and if i let's say i want to, something that looks a bit nicer perhaps than the double rare in someone's opinion for someone's taste but they don't want to pay a hundred dollars so i hope you get what I'm, what I'm saying i don't i really see the point in buying out a car that's a hundred dollars thinking people are going to buy it to play it Ho hope it makes sense now is this a great artwork do i like it yes not a big fan of the raging ball with this long neck this stretch neck i don't don't pre I'm more of a fan of the, the Iron Crown, but uh, I'm a big fan of Temporal Forces. I, I can't deny that. However, being rational, market update, 
I don't see w what's the point in buying these cards to play it. So all I'm saying is, if you're buying out with intent of selling them to someone who wants to play it, I don't see the point. If you're buying out because you just want to sell it for $100 because of no reason, I don't I don't see why you're going to find a buyer at 100 100 I mean, apparently you will because I can see that it is selling for 100 plus, but I don't see why you're you're buying it when yesterday was 50 and today is 100 and uh, you're not going to play it. You're a collector, okay, but if you're a collector, you can wait. Maybe it'll go down. That makes sense, not right? It's rational. Let's say you're a collector, you want to collect or SIRs. You go like, well, let's wait. I don't. I'm in a rush. I collect things. I don't want to. Why would I buy now when yesterday was fifty? Hope you made my point. Overall, though, this is a chart of Iron Crown in the European Union and it tracks down the number of listings available in the market, which is, again is available for free. You can have your chance through the Discord bot. And uh, if you want to join the Discord, again, it's also free. The link is in the description down below. And as you can see, they were selling. They got a restock. Many larger seller basically listed a bunch of them. Again, these past days, even though they are being sold again. But as you can see, demand is there from the almost 80 to 45. So Demand is there, so people like this car, whether they want to buy it for a play, for a flip, collect, they want to collect them, they want to invest in them long term, I don't know, but people buy them. So, that being said, hope you enjoyed the market update, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Ridge Bolt buyout, do you think it makes sense, are you going to buy that car $100, and as always, please consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on an update, if you enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate it if you could leave a like, thanks for watching, looking forward to seeing you in the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.